includes the daughter of a Murphy, North Carolina woman. Channel 3's Joy Duke spoke with the woman who lives in Tennessee, as well as a local attorney who deals with landlord-tenant law. Here's Joy. For many people, the start of a new month means rent is due. And one Tennessee woman says she doesn't know how she'll make the payment for April after her fiancé lost his job at Nissan. You know, it's a bad situation for everyone involved, landlords and tenants. Money troubles brought on by the coronavirus outbreak have left many renters with a tough decision to make. I just don't know what to do. It's either pay for the roof or pay for food. I don't know which one to do. Tennessee resident Elizabeth Walton is one of them, with her fiancé out of a job for an indefinite amount of time and seven children to feed. They told us unemployment is $275, which that's not even half of what his paycheck would be. Walton says she received this email from her landlord as a reminder of the due date. But when she reached out to see what the options were for relief, she was told there weren't many outside of paying her rent and the late fees associated. When I called them, they were like, you know, we can make a payment arrangement, but it has to be paid in full by the 20th. She says she was told that if she didn't pay anything by the 8th, she and her family of eight would face eviction. So with everything, it's almost $1,800 a month, which after taxes and insurance, that's my entire pay for a month. Chattanooga attorney Darren Kennedy says the only right a tenant has under state law is due process in the event of an eviction. A landlord cannot forcibly remove someone from a property without uh, the tenant's cooperation with that. Um, unless they go through the court process. But that process for landlords will likely be on hold with Tennessee courts closed due to the virus. Um, they're no longer issuing even writs of possession, even if you got a judgment for eviction prior to the courts closing. We reached out to Progress Residential to find out what kind of help they're offering residents who are suffering from financial hardships due to COVID-19. We're still waiting to hear back. O Kennedy says the evictions process could be months in the making with courts closed due to coronavirus. Reporting from home, Joy Dukes, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Joy. Well, the final days as a high school senior are